Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid Hustler, which was just released in the Doomsday Host DLC. Now, this is yet another drip feed vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, but it looks fucking beautiful. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a hot rodded version of the Albany Roosevelt that we've already got in the game. Uh, uh, so it's kind of a hybrid between the Roosevelt and the Vapid Hot Knife, which are two vehicles that we've already got in the game. But this uh, Hustler, man... It looks awesome, and I'm really looking forward to customising it. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this purchase, get it into LS Customs, and see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go, my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Vapid Hustler is in the muscle category. Now, as always, guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor, then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get race brakes. And for the bumper, front bumper, we've only got two additional options, uh, which is good because that front bumper doesn't look great, to be honest. I'm not a massive fan of that. Uh, so we can delete it altogether, or we can get a rusted bumper. So this is going to set the tone for the rest of this video because you're going to get a lot of options where you can make this look like a bagged, rusted piece of shit. So um, that's interesting. At least you're going to get quite a lot of customizations to this vehicle you go I mean you, if you can make it rusted you must have a rusted livery uh, the rear bumper you must get a rusted one maybe rust out the arches and maybe even the wheels that would be pretty cool but highly doubt it but that would be pretty cool but anyway one we're gonna go with I think we're gonna keep it pristine I, I don't know man I don't yeah what the hell not for the, for the sake of the customization we're gonna go with a bumper delete then for the rear bumper, we are going to go with bumper delete also. Uh, as you can see, they're exactly the same options as the front bumper. So we've got the delete version and the rusted version. And uh, like I said, we're going to go with a bumper delete. Then for the engine, you want to go and get a level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhausts, we've got four additional options. At the moment, you can see the exhausts are out of the rear. And then, wow. I like that man, they're pretty cool man, they, they bring them to the front so they're directly from the engine, so that's nice, and the rest of the options are from there, uh, by the looks of it, uh, so the only options for the exhaust coming from the rear are the stock ones, the rest of them come directly from the engine like this, which are pretty sweet man, I do like it, and uh, I think I'm in favour of the side exit exhaust man, <laughs> it looks fucking sweet, um, I'm not usually a fan of side exit exhaust, but these ones in particular, and the way they've laid out, they look really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go with them bad boys. Next, we've got the grill. Uh, loads of options for the grill. We've got a rusted version, which I you know, kind of assumed once we got the option for rusted bumpers that we are going to get more rusty options. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think we're going to go with that. We've got the salty grill, which is really weird. I'm not really, don't really know what to make of that. We can remove it. Holy crap. Oh no, I purchased it by accident. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. My, my finger slipped on the button. Damn. Um, but that looks pretty cool. He might he might stick with it. You never know. Wow. Then we can nose delete. Shit, man. So, uh, actually, I like the chrome mesh. That looks pretty cool. And also the black mesh looks awesome as well. I think I'm going to go with a chrome mesh. Yeah, man. That looks sweet. So we're going to go with that one. Next, we've got the hood. Uh, so we can remove the hood. This is going to be a running theme as well, where we can remove shit from the car. So that's removed. So we've got the, the we've got the big blocks now coming in, and um, I think I think it looks better with the hood because I've removed I don't know man do, does it look better with the hood or should I get a big block on there I think because I've removed a lot of things already like the bumpers and the fenders I think it would look a little bit better if I kept the hood on I'm not sure though yeah fuck it I'm going to keep the stock hood because you know give it some sort of balance so yeah I'm gonna stay stock hood for this one so next we've got the lights we're gonna to go to headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights so the next option we've got is the livery and as you can see we've got a lot a lot of liveries man so to start with we've got the plas the not the plastic we've got the basic pinstripe which we can't see so that basic pinstripe must be white uh, then we've got the yellow flames which is always a winner on a hot rod always a winner same in the purple and then we've got the vapid um, no the rapid vapid which is pretty sweet. Uh, that's quite nice, man. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Then we've got the hustle time. Then here comes the rusted ones. Yeah. So the rusted ones do look pretty sweet. You know, they do look cool. Like I said, if you're going to have something like this, you need to go with a matte paint underneath so that it hasn't got a, that glossy shine on it. Um, that also looks quite cool. But I think I'm going to stay something so it looks pristine, so it looks fucking sweet. I don't want something that looks like beating up bag of shit. Um, I did like that one, man. I think that one looks quite cool. 
but then also the flames look really good but then I think I went with the flames for the Hermes as well uh, that was black with the yellow flames or, or red flames, orange flames, whatever you fucking call them um, the purple ones look quite good but I, th I, I really like this rapid vapid on I think that looks fucking awesome so yeah I'm going to go with that one so then we're going to go on to the respray uh, primary colour we're going to stay classic for this one because we do have a, a, um, a livery and usually when you go metallic it leaves a weird shine on the livery uh, so if you stay classic it, it kind of avoids that so we're going to stay classic anyway I'm, I'm not sure what colour I'm feeling on this probably like a blue or a red a red oh gold I ain't fucking unlocked it damn <laughs> black looks a bit too I don't know black looks quite good I suppose um, but yeah I, I, I think uh, a silver looks good I think loads loads of colours suit this car and this livery man it's weird usually when you put when you get a new car only a certain amount of colours suit the car but this one seems to suit all the colors man it's good really good so as you guys saw i didn't have gold unlocked which the reason behind that is because i haven't done enough races to unlock it um quite frankly on this account this is a different account that i just do my car builds on so i haven't unlocked um the gold color unfortunately so when i was flicking through i did see this bronze and i think bronze is actually quite a good substitute for that and i think it looks really really cool with that livery so i'm gonna go bronze for the uh primary color and for the secondary color at the moment I'm, that's black I'm not sure what it changes uh, there we go we've got the supports at the bottom what the bumpers used to sit on uh, I think I'm gonna just leave that black or should we just go bronze let's quickly go bronze and see if it looks any better yeah man I like bronze on that that looks pretty sweet so yeah I'm gonna go bronze for the secondary color next we've got the option for the roof so we can have a sunshade which is that's quite cool man I like that I actually like it so yeah I'm gonna go with a sunshade then we've got the side skirts. Uh, at the moment, I've got them removed, so this is um, redundant. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm assuming when you've got a different option for exhaust, that um, you, you'd be able to remove them. But as I've got this side exhaust, it removes them already. So yeah, you, I don't need any of that. So whatever, <laughs> whatever, man. Next, we've got the suspension. Uh, at the moment, it is stock suspension, obviously so we want to get this right low down to the ground yeah we do we're going to go competition suspension for this bad boy then we've got the transmission we're going to go race transmission and turbo tuner now for the wheels guys this is the first vehicle that we've had in a long long time which doesn't have any um, special stock custom rims they're just basic shit drag rims at the minute because uh, usually with all the newer cars we're getting like a really unique um, rim on them but on this one we don't unfortunately so we are going to have to go and purchase some uh, so I'm going to go chrome go stay in the the muscle rims see even they look a little bit better when they make the rim a bit bigger and the lower, lower profile tyre I'm not sure what I will go for on it I'm actually I might go um, low rider low rider chrome these uh, yeah, we, there we go these look a little bit nicer I really like the triple gold so man they look sweet the big worms are exactly the same but you got the little I don't know what, what you call that in the middle of the of the spoked rim there. That looks fucking sweet. So yeah, we're going to go big worm on this. Then we're going to go into the tyres. I think I'm going to purchase the custom tyres because it gives you a pretty sweet white wall on there. That looks awesome. Then we're going to get the tyre enhancements, which is the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So again, my dudes, there is my build on the brand new Vapid Hustler, which is just released into GTA Online. Part of the Doomsday Heist DLC and uh, also part of the drip feed and I'm really actually impressed of um, how much customization there is to this vehicle which is really good customization is always good and um, the price what was the price was it 625 let me just double check what the price was on this bad boy because I wasn't 100% sure uh, there we go yeah it was 625 so six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars for this vehicle and um, another cheap ish cheapest kind of car because if we're comparing this to the the Roosevelt that's a lot cheaper you know I think we've got a sale on at the moment for the Roosevelt's because we've got two variations of it so if we scroll down yeah so at the moment we've got two sales on both Roosevelt's we've got the Valor and then the standard one um, so at the minute that is the the standard Roosevelt is cheaper than the Hustler but usually it's not it's like $750,000 and this one is $982,000 and 
at the sale price is still more expensive than the Hustler. We also have something which is also very similar to this um, Hustler as well, which is the Hot Knife, which was um, available right from the start of the game, just there, which for ninety thousand dollars, which is you know that's really cheap. You can do the similar sort of customizations, but in my opinion, it isn't as nice looking. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely better looking than all of them vehicles. The customizations is a lot better than all of them vehicles as well. Um, and I, you know, I don't know whether it would. Be, I, I, I assume it's going to be better around a track as well because just driving around like this, it seems quite quick. The handling is terrible, awful. I mean, you just want. I just want to spin out all the time. I mean, as you can see right now, it's going really quick. So in a straight line, very very fast. Go around a corner, it just wants to slide, and it's really heavy on the steering as well. The brakes don't feel that great. So um, if you wanted to buy this for a racing vehicle, <laughs> think again, man, because this isn't going to be, you know, much cop to be honest. Like I said, if it's a straight line, it's going to be, it's going to do well. Go around a corner, it feels really heavy, and then when it decides to turn, it just wants to slide, you know. So um, it's all the power, no, um, no traction really. And there's no spoiler option either, which isn't great, so that's not going to help with your traction. Um, but overall, man, I think this car is quite good. It, like, like I said, it is quite cheap at $625,000, especially for a new DLC vehicle. And a very unique DLC vehicle as well, because it is very nice looking. It's very unique looking, loads of customization. Um, so, you know, I'm quite impressed with it. I, I, I'd probably buy it again, you know. On my, um, on my actual playing account, I would actually buy it because I think it looks really cool. And it's nice to have as a... That's just one of them unique looking vehicles inside of your garage. Um, but yeah, overall, very impressive. It. I would recommend it. Uh, not highly. I mean, if you haven't got the cash, I wouldn't go out and um, you know and just waste your money on it. But if you've got the money, go and buy it. Give it a try. It's, it's you know, that's pretty good. Pretty good car. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give me a two sweet. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.